What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down Sergio Ramos's style. Also, I will be providing you guys with three characteristic points where you guys can take from this video of me dissecting his style so you guys can upgrade your own personal style. Let's go. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the section down below there. Give this video a big thumbs up and uh, share the video. For Sergio, it seems like he really embraces the streetwear fashion a lot. When I'm looking at a lot of his fits online, I'm looking at a lot of pictures where it just shows him looks very comfortable within a lot of streetwear fashion. So when you get into more streetwear fashion, there's a lot of lanes you guys can take with it. There's a lot of directions you can go. So you can actually see him right here wearing a matching sweatshirt tracksuit. So this is actually quite different because you can see how the zipper is designed on this sweatshirt, this long sleeve sweatshirt. Um, definitely that's not even in Canada for a matter of fact you don't see anything like that in Canada if you want to get to more streetwear fashion and you want to embrace the culture of creativity definitely look into more things that are are designed out in Europe opposed to like North America uh, I'll link some links in the below for you guys like ASOS is one of them so right here is actually a cool look you're actually wearing an all camel look so this is the black caviar Copeland jacket so that's pretty cool. That is definitely like a velvet type of look. And the sleeves are, I believe those look like they're cotton sleeves, but something like this is quite distinct when it comes down to street or fashion. And he got the biker ripped jeans. That was pretty popular a few years back in Canada, but in Europe, this was always ahead of the time. So this is actually a really cool look for the captain of Real Madrid. He's making himself known, his presence is there and he's basically peacocking. So peacocking is a term when it comes down into even the dating world that even with what you wear, it's kind of showing the world that, hey, I'm here, hence the animal, the peacock. So one thing I do want you guys to check out is check out the Arcway Instagram because I'll be posting content on a daily basis. What you'll be seeing is from anything from fashion to style, to culture, to art, anything that really inspires Arcway as a brand, you guys will just see it from there and then that way you guys can pick up what you guys like most about it and then apply it to your own style, your own life, your own culture, your own fashion. So this one is going to get interesting because now we're going into like a modern high-end streetwear look. So this is going to be a lot more different. You're going to see a lot more patterns. You can see a lot more colors and also you're going to see a lot more different styles of cuts. In this picture right here, you can see Sergio wearing like kind of like a high-end vintage shirt. And also he has a cropped pair of shorts to go matching with that. And then he has the basic minimalistic shoes with some white sneakers. So that right here is uh, definitely a high-end look from anything he has worn this far. So this is really cool to actually see and dissect. And something I'll actually show you guys as well. And so in this next picture of this high-end fashion look, he's wearing like a high top pair of all white shoes. And then you got the camel pair of pants here. And then you got the long sleeve shirt. So that's pretty cool as it is because when it comes down to even like these types of styles of shirts, you don't typically would see them on a regular rack at any place. You kind of have to go distinct places to pick up certain selective pieces like this. So matching something like this with a basic look of the pair of shorts and the, and the shoes is actually a great look for anyone that who wants to apply this type of look into your style. So next thing I want to get into is that on game days, he wears suits and he kind of has that personality of like the Conor McGregor um, where on the pitch, he's a complete different person opposed to this gentleman in a suit where he's kind of calmed and tamed. So it's kind of an interesting paradox between this. But when he wears a suit, he seems to wear and he really likes to wear three-piece suits. He So you can tell that he likes to look preppy, he likes to look clean, he likes to look put together. So that's a really good sign when it comes down to having different sides of his personality here. So this suit right here is pretty nice, the plaid, and then you got the tie in the center right here. Nice presence on his look. Um, and also, if you kind of go into it more, he got the navy suit and then he has the gray waistcoat with the blue tie. So that contrast is pretty nice as well. That's something I actually advise you guys to get into more, start contrasting your suits a lot more. So it kind of has a different presence of how you look overall. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me breaking down Sergio Ramos's style. If you guys want to see any more people, public figures, celebrities, sports figures, anyone, just let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.